Hey, what's up guys, Buttery Bars here, bringing to you a quick Terraria tutorial on how to defeat the Brain of Cthulhu. The Brain of Cthulhu is added in the update uh, 1.2 and is unique to the new corruption uh, biome known as the Crimson. Uh, when you generate a new world, there's a chance that some stuff may change, including the biome of corruption. It turns into the Crimson, which is more gore-based, which honestly I find awesome. Anyway, uh, I already created this world and I already found some corruption, so I'm going to show you basically uh, what I did to get it. I used an inventory editor to make this character just for the purposes of this tutorial. I gave myself an iron sword, as you can see, a tendon bow, spiky balls, the meatball, the undertaker, bloody spines, which you need to summon him, uh, wood, and uh, torches. Okay, so. The whole point of this particular strategy is you will need to have faced a goblin invasion in order for it to happen. Well, not in order for it to happen, really. In order for this particular strategy to work. Also, I gave myself 220 health, which probably won't be enough. Um, to this, for this boss, you're going to want at least iron armor, and I feel more comfortable with gold armor, personally. That's not missing. There we are. Uh, you're going to want the best bow you can get, which... Usually, you defeat the Eye of Cthulhu first, and you get the Tendon Bow. You don't need tissue samples for that. And, uh, you can... I highly recommend Unholy Arrows. They're really good. Uh, you use Vertebrae. You need 15 to craft a single Bloody Spine. You need to do that at the Demon Altar, just like the, uh, Suspicious Looking Eye. The Meatball is actually built with tissue samples, and I only recommend you build it if you've already tried and failed to defeat the Brain of Cthulhu, because... The little spawns the Brain of Cthulhu has actually dropped those um, tissue samples which you need to build that stuff. Anyway, the Undertaker is usually what you will find in the uh, first hole, in the first shadow orb slash beating heart that you destroy. And welcome to the Crimson, the new biome. Now for this strategy, you're going to want to build up... Shit! Oh well, that was a mistake. You. In order to keep away from the mobs on the ground, you generally want to build upward. As you can see, the Brain of Cthulhu teleports around and has a whole bunch of little mini bits of itself. Uh, in order to stay away from the mobs on the ground, you want to build up in the air, you want to build a giant platform, and what I do is if you already defeated the Goblin Army, they drop a bunch of spiky balls. <laughs> spiky balls. It's also easier to dodge the brain while you're in the air, as opposed to on the ground. Because it teleports around ran pretty much randomly. As you can see, it does a ton of damage as well. See, if you throw those spiky balls on the ground, it actually hurts those guys. Damn it! My spiky balls. And the reason I recommended the Unholy Arrows is because they pierce. And this is, again, the reason why I get the spiky balls, is they immediately knock these guys back. As you can see, if I had actually prepared for this, this is actually very easy. I'm actually not even looking at the screen, I was actually looking at my inventory that entire time. You can see, spiky balls work wonders here, if you've already defeated a goblin army. If not, stick with the tendon bow. As you can see, it traces through multiple ones. And actually, this is the easy part of the fight. You can see all of them are dropping uh, creepatine, ore, and uh, tissue samples, which you need to craft a whole bunch of stuff. Now, this probably this would have been a lot easier if I had actually set it up properly. There we are. As you can see, now he teleports around and flies at you. You want to hit him with a ranged weapon because his entire body will hurt you. And as you can see, it does a lot of damage. You want to Basically, hit him with, with your fastest firing weapon, which for me would probably be the other one. It doesn't do the most damage, but there we go. Now, uh, one thing I absolutely never recommend is to fight that guy in the caverns when you destroy one of the uh, crimson heart things. I don't know exactly what they're called. Because... In that enclosed space, it's really hard to dodge him. He does a ton of damage, and you will die, and it will not be happy for you. I actually, um, in order to test it myself, I actually fought him in an enclosed space like that, and I actually gave myself 500 health, which is the max you can get, 
with uh, gold armor, and he ripped me in half. Wow, the corruption is really close to spawn in both directions in this world. Anyway, yeah, that's the general strategy of how to beat the Brain of Cthulhu. So basically, let me show you how it would have been if I didn't accidentally use the Bloody Spine instead of my wood in that situation. Basically, you would have wanted to do this. Like, just get above the trees, basically, but don't go too high, otherwise he won't spawn. There we are, and you might want to, like, build platforms or something so you can get back up here if you want to farm them. And then you just build outward a little bit. I recommend using whatever resource you have that's very abundant. And I did not give myself a pickaxe in this character, so... Or an axe, for that matter. So I can't cut down trees to make myself a pickaxe, so that little bit of wood's gonna have to stay there. Anyway, yep, just build out. You don't need a very big stage to fight this guy. As a matter of fact, a big stage actually could hurt you. There we are. And that's just so you don't fall off to your death. Because taking full damage during that fight is really annoying. And as you can see, you've got yourself a arena here. Then you just torch it up to make sure you can see where you're, what you're doing. I know it's too many torches and I gave myself too many on purpose. There we are. And then you would just summon him. You can see you can't summon him outside of the Crimson. If you use another bloody spine while the Brain of Cthulhu is already in play, it will deal 7,000 damage to you and kill you. Now, if you wanted to, what you could do is you could uh, do something like this. Just put um, one of those so you can easily walk over these. No, that's not what I meant to do. And put one spiky ball in each one of the little holes right here. I can get this one in the hole. No. Damn, I can't get it in the hole. Why can't I get it in the hole? Uh, no. What, really? Facebook now? Now is when you choose to throw messages at me? Oh, whatever. Anyway, you could do that for when the brain is like charging at you and the balls won't move in this situation. When the balls like take enough damage or whatever, they'll like actually disappear, so you want to make sure you have more than enough. Uh, I came into the fight when I did it by myself off screen with 200 spiky balls and that worked perfectly using this exact setup right here. Just throw the spiky balls pretty much everywhere. And you can pretty much, as long as you keep moving around and they have to track you and they don't come directly at you from above, they will not be able to hurt you. You just keep doing this, basically. Just like that, they'll keep charging themselves at the balls. <laughs> Ball. And, uh, yeah, just keep shooting unholy arrows at him with either gold or tendon bow, and soon enough, the eye itself will be charging at you. Just throw down more balls. <laughs> Sorry about any cutaway. I actually kind of coughed during that laughter spaz. But, yeah, just th throw more balls on the ground again. Haha. <laughs> and just shoot him with whatever your fastest range weapon is. And before you know it, you'll be swimming in tissue samples and prima time. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out my channel. I've got some LPs on there, and even though I haven't recorded in a while, I do plan to record some more, simply because I'm building a new PC and the motherboard is shot, so I gotta wait for a new one to come in. Gotta refund, all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you don't like the quality on my videos, by all means, just wait another week. I'll have a new PC. I'll be able to run pretty much anything I want at max. So anyway, take care, guys. Oh, that didn't kill me. I was hoping to be sent off with a death. Anyway, see you guys.